Hello everyone, this is a quick tutorial of Android Studio's new navigation components library. This library is very useful and is very powerful. You can create fragments in seconds and put them in a storyboard and then link them together using arrows and directions and the system will automatically handle uh, the application's life cycle for you. So there is less code to deal with and the system will handle the app flow. So I'm going to walk you through um, this documentation and I'm going to put this link in the video's description. And um, the first thing you need to do is to update your Android Studio to version 3.3 or higher. And um, let's start making um, a simple app. So the first thing we need to do is to implement the dependency, the navigation dependency. Here I have an empty Android application with empty activity. So you need to go to your Gradle file and implement the dependency. After it's implemented, you need to go to the next step, which is create a navigation graph. So you're going to do this by right-click on your app root directory, new, and select Android resource file. Let's call it navigation graph. And let's select the resource type to navigation. Click OK. Here you can see it auto-generated uh, navigation directory inside your res directory and has the navigation graph um, file. So here you, there is um, a layout editor and here is the XML file text version. So we can start by creating some fragments. Let's create three fragments. Uh, the first one let's call it home fragment. And let's uncheck those for now. Let's create a second one, second fragment. And let's create a final one, create new destination, final fragments. Okay, so now you have three fragments. So the next step is to connect destinations between those fragments. So to do that, all you need is to drag an arrow from the um, host fragment to the target fragment. So let's say I want to go from home to second, then I'm going to drag an arrow from home to second. I'm going to go from second to final, drag an arrow from second to final, and from final I want to go back home. I just drag an arrow to home. As simple as that. So let's rearrange those. You can click this auto arrange button and center. So you have home, second, final, and from final to home. Now um, the next step is that you need to define these arrows. So each arrow has an action ID and a destination. So um, you can also add animation transition easily. Here I have animation folder that has like basic animations. I'm going to use those. So let's start by uh, defining each arrow. Since we have three fragments into one activity, then we need the same action ID for each arrow. So we're going to create next action as the action ID. Do this, call it next action. And this one, next action as well. Okay, so now what you need to do is that um, 
let's uh, let's create the let's create the animations because if you are going to move from one fragment to other without animation it's going to be pointless so let's do um, simple animation Okay, so the final arrow, you, you do not need animations, um, you don't you need a destination because you're going to pop this to a home fragment. So the system will automatically handle popping this to the home fragment. So now we have uh, the fragments. Let's create a basic layout for each fragment. Let's go to home and let's call this home. Okay. And then I'm going to need a button to navigate to the next fragment. So when I need a fab action button. And what I need is an ID for that button. And I'm going to need a text view over here. And let's call it go second. Okay, I'm going to call this, all right, now let's copy that into the other fragments, the second, call this second, and go final, and in the final fragment, let's call this final, and go home. All right, so now we're almost done. All what we all, all what left to do is that you modify an activity to host navigation. So we're gonna connect those fragments into our main activity. To do that, go to main activity, go containers, and let's remove hello world now and drag and drop the navigation host fragment and select the navigation graph you created. Okay, so here you can quickly see you have home on the first page, which is the default fragment. And um, you can quickly select which one is the start destination. You can select this one, you can select this one, set as start destination. All right, so now let's go to home fragment and let's um, create a trigger for that fab uh, floating action button we created. Let's implement on view created. Let's call that button and set our click listener to here. So as you can see, we can uh, we're gonna use the navigation class that create navigate on click listener, and we're gonna pass in the action. The action for the arrows we created. We're gonna navigation dot create navigate on click listener, and we're gonna pass the action which is our next action. All right, so let's uh, copy that. Uh, move that to the second fragment, paste, final fragment. Okay, so now we have each fragment, same um, code. 
So now let's um, run the app. Okay, here's our home fragment. We're gonna go second, we're gonna final, and we're gonna go back home. That's pretty neat and very quick. So the next advantage is that you go second, you go final, you can hit the back arrow to go back to the second, hit back again, you go back home. So here, the system is automatically handling the application flow. So here was our quick tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Uh, if you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials like that. And uh, thank you very much and bye.